Hi everyone and welcome to this video on the 50th anniversary of Project Tiger. The tiger is one of the most iconic animals in the world, but it is also one of the most endangered. In the 1970s, the tiger population in India had declined to just a few thousand individuals. In response, the Indian government launched Project Tiger, a conservation program that has been credited with saving the big cat from extinction. So, how this Project Tiger came about? Project Tiger was launched by the Indira Gandhi government on 1st April 1973 in a bid to promote the conservation of the tiger. It came at a time when the population of tigers in India was rapidly dwindling, reaching an all-time low due to unfettered hunting and habitat loss. According to reports, while there were 40,000 tigers in the country at the time of the independence, They were soon reduced to below 2000 by 1970 due to widespread hunting and habitat destruction. To tackle the problem of hunting and poaching of not just tigers but also other animals and birds, then Prime Minister Indira Gandhi promulgated the Wildlife Protection Act in 1972. A year later, after a task force urged the government to create a chain of reserves dedicated to tiger preservation, Indira Gandhi unveiled Project Tiger. Launched at the Jim Corbett National Park, the program was initially started in the following 9 tiger reserves of different states. Notably, Project Tiger didn't just focus on the conservation of the big cats. It also ensured the preservation of their natural habitat as tigers are at the top of the food chain. While inaugurating the program, Indira Gandhi in a statement said the tiger cannot be preserved in isolation it is at the apex of a large and complex biotope its habitat threatened by human intrusion commercial forestry and cattle grazing must first be made inviolate later on the national tiger conservation authority was formed in december 2005 following a recommendation of the tiger task force the prime minister of india established it to reorganize the management of project tiger and many tiger reserves in india these are the functions of ncta it is the apex body that administers project tiger the tiger reserves are formed based on a core buffer strategy for efficient management and tiger density administration the core area of the reserve is a particular part of land marked and identified by the government The core areas are free from any human activity and it has the legal status of a national park or wildlife sanctuary. The buffer areas are marked to surround the core areas. These areas are not frequently occupied by wildlife. However, limited human activity is allowed in buffer areas. The buffer areas have two major purposes. One is to serve as a habitat supplement. to the wild animals from core areas and another one is to become a livelihood source for surrounding villages in a bid to raise awareness on various issues surrounding tiger conservation 29th july is celebrated the world over as international tiger day today there are 54 tiger reserves across india spanning 75000 square kilometers The current population of tigers in the country stands at 3167 as opposed to 1411 in 2006, 1706 in 2010 and 2226 in 2014. The number saw a 6.74% increase since 2018 as per figures from the 5th cycle of India's tiger census. released by prime minister narendra modi earlier this year to mark 50 years of project tiger nearly 75% of the global tiger population can today be found in india despite these challenges project tiger remains one of the most successful conservation programs in the world it has helped to save the bengal tiger from extinction and has raised awareness about the importance of tiger conservation